morning day two um march 1st woke up uh, late 10 almost 11 o'clock a.m i woke up uh still jet lagged it's like four o'clock in the morning america time gonna make myself a cup of coffee now uh breakfast was waiting outside the room in a plastic bag as usual make some coffee open up the window gonna wait for the sun rays to come through this crack in the window. Hopefully you're gonna uh, see some sunlight, sit over here and try to absorb as much as possible. Uh, coffee, then I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna show you the workout very soon. So almost one o'clock p.m. This is where I sit when I'm waiting for my, uh, the ray uh, sun popping in from over here from the crack. Uh, the ray of light over here, but it's uh, overcast today, so I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna be getting uh, to see the sun today. I had a nice phone call from my friend Chorev, uh that woke me up uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, jet lagged. It's cool. I was gonna wake up uh, early anyway, but I kept on uh, sleeping. I stayed in bed and just you know, it's fun to stay in bed when you have nothing to do, um, and that's it. Gonna uh, do my exercise very soon. Time for my exercise. I do core uh, muscle exercise, kind of yoga, stretching, stretching and core body muscle strengthening. So a few yoga poses, something I found online. That's it. Do the cobra. Great for lower back. The praying pose. The beauty when you have time is like, even a 40 minute exercise takes, takes me, took me about an hour and a half, two hours to finish <laughs> with video watching during, uh, during the exercise. And so yeah, done with that now. Quickly, it's been overcast all day long and I found a small spot, two, two minutes. I'm following it and tracking it down so it hits me exactly in the face. The sun literally came in between the clouds. You can see it now, right there. And it's the, right at getting the sun rays in this crack right here. And so that wanna see it? No, I have no idea. I, I know that throughout history there have been crooks and scams and fraud. I'm getting it right at me. I know what they say. <laughs> I know what they're supposed to do. I just finished a uh, phone call with uh, mom and dad, grandma and grandpa. Uh, spirits are up. Funny, as we were we were speaking, there was a huge knock on the door and uh, people were yelling, Kulam la redet la lobby. And they were running, like everybody down to the lobby. And then they ran to the other rooms. I stick my head out, seeing what that was. And it sounded like kids playing a, a prank or something. Anyway, a few minutes later, they come back, knock again. I said, I'll wait in the room. If they want me to go home, and uh, there's, they'll probably let us know on the loudspeaker. Surely a few minutes after that, their loudspeaker uh, comes on and there's the, this authoritative, uh, authoritative voice saying, Whoever is in the, uh, whoever is outside his rooms, get back into your room. The police are on the way. And then two minutes later, this this uh, hotel is being under surveillance. There's ca there's video cameras. You're gonna get a five thousand shekel uh, ticket if you don't go into your rooms now. Apparently, some kids ran out of their room, started to knock on doors to try to uh, create a little riot over here. Anyway, uh, I just walked. 
I just walked uh, around the hotel for 25 minutes. I got actually a permission. I, uh, I texted, they had this WhatsApp uh, a correspondence that you can ask questions and it's all written. So I asked to walk around the hotel a little bit. It took about an hour and a half till I got a response. And they said, sure, go ahead, walk around uh, to, to stretch your legs, let's put it that way. So I just walked around uh, uh, for like 25 minutes around the, the lobby and around the, you know, the hallways. Uh, to walk a little bit, and it was nice. I spoke to I spoke to one guy that was there, and I said, "What's the story?" What he said, "Listen, you can walk out of your room, and when they see you, they tell you to go back into your room, pretty much." So, okay, I'm stopping to think like a prisoner and starting to think like a human being. I just called up the lobby and asked for you know, if I can get a a plate, a glass plate or ceramic plate and some uh, knife and fork made of metal. And they said, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I should be getting it very soon. Sun is going down. It's almost 6 p.m. It's, it was a good day actually with this little walk that I did. I ate uh, nicely, uh, wasn't bored. D uh, documenting, actually doing the video yesterday and doing the video today keeps me busy. And uh, that's it, gonna do a video later on today. Oh yeah, just got an answer for, for the first request uh, for uh, you know sell the committee. I filed the first request a few days ago uh, for the committee to change my uh, quarantine from the hotel to my house. I got a negative answer yesterday. I already uh, submitted the second uh, request. We'll get the answer tomorrow. And today, later on today, I'll actually submit a third request. Uh, this time I'm going to say that I need to go and I do need to go, uh, in six days, uh, to get my first shot vaccination. So, so maybe that medical reason will work. Just got off the WhatsApp video conversation with John, John, he called me, he talked for like an hour. Thank you, John. Love you, man. Well, apparently we made the news. Remember I told you before there was... And the loudspeaker, it was actually before there was kids knocking on the doors, come down to the lobby. Well, we just hit the news. Apparently there was a riot and they brought in police, they brought in uh, reporters and we hit the news. Uh, the people over here, about a hundred people went out of their rooms, went downstairs to the lobby and were uh, protesting. They want uh, to get uh, the electronic uh, bracelets and to go home instead of uh, staying here. And that's because they just started a pilot uh, in, in the airport right now. They gave 100 people the option whether to come here to these hotels or to go home with the electronic bracelet. So people over here said, hey, we've been here for three, four days. We want to go home. Give us the, give us the uh, bracelet. And uh, they're right. So anyway, just hit the news. Uh, that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up. It is day two. Uh, actually, a few hours into day three already. So, we're good.